In this video, I'm going to go step by step on how to install a hitch on a Chevy Equinox, Pontiac Torrent, GMC Terrain, and a Saturn view is very similar. Now, Chevy Equinox is going to be from about 05 to 2017. A GMC Terrain is going to be from about 2010 to 2017. And Pontiac Torrent is from about 05 to 09. Uh, standard view is going to be about 05 to 09 as well. There's going to be a little more involved if you've installed this on a Saturn view. Now I did do a wiring video separate. So if you're looking to install your trailer wiring, that's in a separate video. This is going to be a very easy hitch to install. If you've never installed them before, plan on about 45 minutes. You can do it yourself if you have a floor jack. You just support this on your floor jack, pump it up a little bit. You're going to raise it into place to put all your nuts and bolts in. Now this is a no drill kit, so all the weld nuts are factory installed. You're basically just going to screw your hex nuts in place and you're going to be done. So let's get started. Probably one of the most important tips I can give you is all of these factory weld nuts are probably going to have dirt, grime, uh, some road debris in the threads. So I suggest you get an air compressor with an air nozzle and just give a little shot of air into all of the weld nuts and blow some of the debris out. If you don't have an air compressor, give it a little shot of WD-40 and hand thread in uh, all the hex bolts that came with the kit to make sure that the threads are clean. If you don't have anything else, use a small wire brush, possibly a toothbrush, but you have to get those threads clean out of those weld nuts. If you torque those bolts too hard, it's going to snap the weld nuts and you're going to lose your fastener. You can easily install this hitch yourself. You just put it on top of a floor jack, line it up, raise the jack up, and it's going to raise the hitch right into place. I'll bring the camera around up close so you can see where it's at. All I did was lay the hitch onto the jack, start pumping it up, and it's going to raise it up into place. Now I'm pretty close to where I'm at. I just want to go check the other side before I raise it up all the way. And then here's another tip. It's easiest to put the two bolts in right down here by your hitch mount uh, than it is to do the sides. So start from the center and then we're going to do the sides. Now just out of habit, I always put blue thread locker on any hitches I'm mounting. Now you do have these lock washers. This is most likely never going to back out, but I highly suggest you put a couple drops of thread locker blue 242 this is removable thread locker but it will prevent these bolts from ever backing out due to vibration all right so once i get the two bolts in the center in all i want to do is just make them snug because i still want to be able to wiggle the hitch around now once those are in there it's time to remove the jack now of course it's going to stay in place but you can still move it side to side to get those side bolts lined up so I'm just going to show you the center bolts. You can see them right there. There's one on the other side. Like I said, all they are right now is snug because I still want to be able to move the hitch around. I'm on the passenger side. So if you can see that, the hole is not exactly lined up. That's why I leave the two center bolts a little loose so I can wiggle that back and line those bolts up. All the two hex bolts on the passenger side, as you can see, I've put a couple drops of thread locker on, and now it's time to install these two bolts. So if you're having trouble getting your hex bolts to thread into the weld nuts, then you're gonna have to get a tap. This is what the tap looks like. It's gonna be a 12 millimeter, so it's gonna be a M12 by 1.75 tap. Now these are gonna run maybe five to seven bucks at your big box store or you can buy them off Amazon. And you're simply just gonna chase the threads. As you can see, there's a little bit of rust buildup on this. So after you chase the thread, you're just kind of basically cleaning them out. So if you have an older model, you're probably definitely gonna need this. You just wanna make sure that all those heck bolts, uh, you can hand thread them in before you start mounting your hitch. If you do need to use that tap, all you're doing is chasing the threads. You can use a small ratchet to Turn that tap in and out and clear those threads out. Over here on the passenger side, we got the two bolts in. I've got them snug, not real tight. I just want to make sure I get the other two bolts in on the driver's side before I tighten all six of these bolts up. Now, if you're looking for a good screw loose super penetrant, uh, this also dissolves rust and loosens kind of stuck frozen bolts. 
Uh, this stuff from CRC works great. I've been using it for years. Uh, everything I'm using, I will put a link in the description below how to buy this off Amazon. But this is a real good super penetrant uh, that I've been using for years and it is proven to work very well. So if we come over here to the driver's side, you'll see that I have the two bolts in right here. And now I'm going to go ahead and tighten everything up. Now you're going to want to torque everything to 80 foot-pounds. If you have a digital torque wrench, simply set it. As soon as it beeps, you know you got the correct torque. As you can see, I've got my safety glasses on. Anytime you're working under a vehicle, you always want to protect your eyes. Also, when you're getting into the uh, driver's side where the exhaust covers a little bit, I have one of these headlights on. It just helps me see just a little bit better. Now out of all six bolts, I had one uh, that was giving me a little bit of an issue there at the end. So I just took the tap, I chased the threads a little bit, it went right in. Once you've got everything torqued down, congratulate yourself on a job well done. You did it all yourself, you didn't have to take it to a mechanic, you saved yourself some time and money. It should have taken you less than an hour from the time you unbox your hitch to the time you're cleaning up. A couple of the pro tips I'm going to give you, make sure you chase all those threads with a tap or you hand thread in those uh, hex bolts and make sure they go in by hand before you try mounting up your hitch. If you put your hitch on you might get two or three bolts in and now all of a sudden a couple of them don't want to go in. It's much, uh, much easier to clean those weld nuts out uh, if your hitch is not on there at all. Like I said you can use a small crescent wrench or you can use a ratchet uh, like I did. Well, that's probably like the only issue with these is if you have a little bit older one those weld nuts tend to get a little rusty. If you have a newer one this thing is going to bolt up and you're going to be done in under 20 minutes. Hope you guys enjoyed this step-by-step -step guide on how to install a hitch on this Chevy Equinox and other vehicles. And I thank you for watching.